How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to How to Terraform Mars with Lasers by In A Nutshell. Alright, so I, I'm just like really pumped for In A Nutshell, man. They've been quite busy. I kind of neglected them to do a, a lot of other stuff, and I apologize for that. But I'm going to make it up by doing uh, two videos today, so very, very good. I'm going to catch up and watch. They're going to release the new one as soon as I'm done with these. You watch. I bet you anything. But like, onto this, man. I, I'm just really excited. I love their like, their terraforming deals, like Terraform Venus and stuff like that. Like, those videos are really, very impactful. Because it's like, how do you terraform a planet? Like, how do you start? And like this, with lasers. Like, it's in all caps. And yes, you have to say it like that every single time you do it, but it's just fascinating stuff, man. Science is freaking awesome, right? So like in a nutshell, I really hope they leave it like bite-sized pieces for me like they always do and just make it super enjoyable. So without any further ado, here is how to terraform Mars. With lasers! Mars is a disappointing hellhole lacking practically everything we need to stay alive. Okay, getting straight into it. It looks like we'll only ever have small crews spend a oh miserable time hidden underground. Oh my god, underground. you were just Except checking all the boxes to negativity, never mind. World. But to solve the planet's okay. problems, we first I literally ate my roads and turned it into oceans Lasers. of lava with gigantic words. I don't know what I said there. This isn't a far-fetched science fiction tale. Terraforming Mars is possible oh. on the kind of timescale our ancestors built great monuments in. If humanity solves some of its pressing problems and ventures uh -huh. into space to expand <laughs> That's into That's the, the important solar system, part, right? This may not be that far off. Okay, so oh, okay, let's let's Mars go quickly? right now. Let's go, please. Well, it's complicated. Well. We gotta see the monkey first. He has a ducky. I have a ducky. Right on. Never get tired of that, by the way. Mars is dry and has no <laughs> soil to grow anything. You don't say. Its atmosphere is too Let's get the obvious out of the way, right? Radiation, giving you a high risk of cancer. Yes. So to turn it into a new home for humanity, we have to give it a proper. Got a poop on potatoes. To Earth. Like Matt Damon it did. It should be made of 21% oxygen, 79% nitrogen, and a tiny bit of CO2. Just, just move it. Temperature it's like oxygen not included. Celsius and under one bar of pressure. No, no, pr I was literally about to say no pressure. And then the ground has to be weathered into fertile soil to host living things. Is that literally all? Then we need to install a I thought you said it'd be hard. This is just Minecraft. And prevent it all from being undone by installing protective measures that can stand the test of time. Okay, as the list it grows, it's getting... But a yeah, difficult. It's getting... It you keep easier. taking the words out of my mouth. Challenge one, the atmosphere. Okay. Some four billion years oh, ago, I love this. Mars had a nice oh. oxygen rich atmosphere. I was about to say, look at the sky. Vast oceans and rivers. Let's go. It held on but, to it for several hundred million years before it got blown away. Oh. Ultraviolet rays broke down the atmospheric gases and then oh. the oceans until they were swept away by solar wind. Okay, interesting. Today, Mars is a dry, barren wasteland. Luckily, a sizable portion of the water is frozen in deep reservoirs and in the huh. polar ice caps, enough to create a very shallow ocean. And oh, enormous okay. amounts of oxygen are bound as minerals in the Martian rocks, like the oxygen in the iron oxides that give the planet its rust red color, oh, as well as carbon dioxide in carbonate. If there's a will, there's a way, To right? free these gases, we need to reverse the reactions that lock them away by using thermolysis, which occurs at temperatures as high as on the surface of the sun. Oh. Well, that was short, Celsius, so I'm not sure what Fahrenheit the surface is. Of Mars. Ah, there's a laser. Aiming their beams down on Okay, Mars. it makes sense. It the makes all the sense. It's actually the fastest the they got into the point. Able to produce beams of 10 petawatts of power for a trillionth of a second. To melt Mars, we need a laser twice as powerful. Did you have to test it on the duck? The easiest way oh, is to use continuously? a solar pumped laser. Uh, okay, that can yeah. Directly with sunlight. At its core are metal-infused glass rods that absorb energy and release it as a laser beam. Oh, that's smart. If that's so smart. Array of mirrors in space Use what's around you, right? The size of the United States, Let's go. Focus enough sunlight onto them to melt Mars. Let's do it. <laughs> Just the and picture, the man. The surface, about Just one solid laser. Getting after it. Some carbon dioxide emerge from every cubic It's just steaming. Let's go. If we are efficient, our lasers only need to melt through the top eight meters of the surface to get enough oxygen. Oh. It would look terrifying. <laughs> the skies would be shrouded in storms, while the ground they go, would glow by the red way, hot, crisscrossed by currents. Like what if multiple versions of Evil Superman came and erupted your planet, leaving trails too bright to look at. After they pass, the ground cools quickly. Oh, a strange snow falls. The ashes yeah. from all Very the strange. That solidify as they cool down, like silicon and iron. Right Mars on. is still a cold planet at this point. 
A happy side effect oh, Mars of looks cool foam now. is that all the water in the polar ice caps and even deep underground rises into the sky as hot steam, forming clouds really digging that the rain music. down over the entire planet. Oh. They would wash out the nastier gases from the atmosphere like Get that chlorine, nasty stuff out of here. We don't need harmful it. Elements Literally, on please. The surface. We don't need it. In the end, they would form shallow oceans, saltier than on Earth. We saltier? We extra cleanup afterwards. Oh, oh. It would take about 50 years of that continuous lasering to create our You heard the boss. Oh my god. 20 years? We can opportunity to dig deeper in some places to create the basins we can go for deeper. salty oceans I love that game. or rivers and spare some landmark features like Olympus Mons and Ooh. Venice Marineris. Hey, there are names We're not that I cannot pronounce. The resulting atmosphere is nearly 100% That's a huge improvement, though. Oh. It's hard to breathe and oh. very flammable. I was about to say, to Earth, can you and imagine how flammable that would be? We need to add a lot of nitrogen, which Mars is sadly lacking. Ooh. We have to import it. The ideal okay. source is Titan, a large moon of Saturn. Let's go. I've been hearing a lot of Titans here lately. The Sonic game, nitrogen. something else I forgot. We just have to move 3,000 um, trillion tons from the outer solar system to Mars. Oh, is that all? That's not easy. It is doable. Oh, to what? process that much of Titan's atmosphere, we have to construct giant automated factories. Now you're just playing surviving Mars, my man. Quite literally. And compress it into a liquid. Oh, this is beautiful, this though. I love the reference. Bullet-shaped tanks, which okay. are drivers shoot all the way to the red Ooh. planet, where they like you're going to the mail with the oxygen. Or bank. We've already been able to send individual missions to Saturn in just a few years. With I'm sorry. Resources, Why was I not told about this? To complete the task within two generations. Of course, it Wait, that's much very more soon. To have nitrogen left over from terraforming Venus on the side. Oh, can you imagine if you could just do that, man? Just like a video. game. Hey, I know. So I'll just talk about, about that at the beginning. After the start of the terraforming process, we have a breathable atmosphere. Let's go. Gases. Achievement unlocked. CO2 isn't enough to warm it up you to temperatures. You actually we did it. We just terraform Mars. Greenhouse gases. Okay. Mars at this point resembles a black marble from all the cooling lava, spotted with growing oceans and red patches where the old surface well, remains untouched. That's pretty cool, untouched. though. It's still a wasteland, no better than a desert on Earth. But it looks cooler. We need to fill it with life. Cacti! Challenge 2, Biosphere. Installing a biosphere... Now that you can actually very breathe. Difficult. Unexpected interactions I'm sorry? between species or sudden I don't think that belongs there. can destabilize it to the point of collapse. Yeah. We would probably begin by seeding our young oceans with phytoplankton. Oh, competition, smart, very smart. Rapidly, Start with plankton or bacteria. Oh, I got you, chain. I got you. They can be followed by tiny zooplankton, then by fish. Let's Maybe go. Even sharks and whales. Okay, yes. If things go well, I, I get your wavelength. Will thrive. I'm on your level. Life on land is harder. Yeah. Need nutrient filled Just wait a couple centuries, let them adapt. Into. But most of the surface is the congealed remains oh. of lava and ash. We yeah, good luck with that. Thousands of years for water and wind to grind it down. Hey, I was sand, literally making a joke about that. Try to do it manually. But we want to be quick, and oh. we have a big laser. Ah, that is true. Turning <laughs> the beam on and off. I don't know why I looked up myself. Cause the ground to quickly heat up and contract, which breaks it into smaller and I smaller mean, pieces. I mean, yeah. Add a bit of water, and you get a sort of dark mud. There you go. Into this mud, we can mix. Can't believe I forgot about the laser. fixing bacteria. They're able to absorb nitrogen and convert it into nitrate compounds to oh. feed plants. The okay. first plants we want to bring are native to volcanic islands on Earth, since they're That's very smart. To the laser blasted Martian. Oh, landscape. that is so smart. Okay. Eventually, the enriched mud becomes the foundation for grasslands there it is. and forests. In fertilization. Mars's gravity, trees can become very tall very fast. Oh. Their roots gather the nutrients they need and then dig deeper to turn no rocks into soil, Grow. forming a self-sustaining ecosystem. At this point, we can slowly introduce more plant varieties, insects, and Oh, that is so animals. crazy. Not mosquitoes, though. <laughs> okay. The new biosphere needs to Noted. be maintained to... Nobody likes mosquitoes! Okay! If plants grow too quickly and absorb too much carbon dioxide... Yeah, the that's a problem. ...the down too much. Snow if globe. If key species die out, we oh, can see no. populations collapse faster than they could recover. On Earth, other species ah, would crazy, move in man. to fill That's the why void, I believe in a higher being, man. How freaking hard it is. It takes hundreds, if not thousands of years before Mars becomes a stable <laughs> environment. But eventually, the planet will have the potential to sustain large human colonies. With air, water, okay. and food available, we can finally call it Mars does look like Earth, black, just with blue, giant and green lava Earth. things there. A giant volcanic island in Volcanic, space. sorry. Said the wrong word. Will it last, though? Challenge three, oh. the long-term future. <laughs> I was like, are you going to tell there me or not? problem we haven't addressed. 
Mars's core does not produce a magnetic field. So it oh, have that's a problem. Oh, my so God. Yeah. Or cosmic rays. <laughs> yeah, there's this the cancer part that I forgot about. For long term health of Martian populations. So oh, thank God step, I didn't see the pop. artificial magnetic field. It doesn't have to be huge like Earth's. It just needs to deflect the solar wind but enough aren't you so closer? that it doesn't touch Mars. The Fair. easiest okay. way is to construct a magnetic umbrella far ahead of Mars. Okay, that yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Make it far ahead of it. A big superconducting I'm ring powered stupid. by nuclear facilities is all it takes. Okay. It would orbit at the Mars Sun L1 point, keeping it constantly in between the Sun and Mars. Oh, that is so cool. Very creative. And that's it. And that's it? Forming Mars would take some work. Where's the Hefty pooping on potatoes? And probably Matt Damon lied century to me. Or ten, but it would be the first time we've lived in a home designed and shaped oh, solely is by us and for us. A first step to. I don't think I've ever seen a flamingo in their videos. The I just realized that. The first I was a flamingo in college. Take down Don't ask. On Earth is learning more about the physics and biology needed for such a project. To Why are you that, showing me this? A series of lessons to build your fundamental understanding of these. That's topics. the plushie I got too, man. Made in collaboration Should I tell me something? At Brilliant .org, these lessons Let's go. Deeper understanding of the Brilliant. Topics from that's most be amazing. Videos, I love it from so freaking much. To black holes to climate science. Brilliant is an interactive learning tool that makes maths, science, and computer science accessible. Look at a hands-on approach. Because we know that to really learn something, you've got to do it. Oh, what's that Think game? Markiplier played it, where he's like, space is so cool, you know? In our latest lesson, you'll learn bye more bye about planet. how Mars lost its atmosphere and how we might protect a terraformed Mars from suffering the same fate. Okay. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to explore, from maths-based topics like you got, algebra and you got me intrigued. to the concepts behind algorithms and machine learning. Oh, yes. And with new lessons added each month, including one This is the same spiel. Gesagt, you'll I love it, though. I love it so much. To learn. To get hands on with Kurtzgesagt lessons, yeah, what Brilliant and Kurtzgesagt does, does man. Nothing short of freaking awesome. Nutshell and sign up for free today. Beautiful. There's even an extra perk for Kurtzgesagt viewers. The first 200 people to use the link get 20% off their annual membership, which unlocks all of Brilliant's courses in maths, science, and computer science. That is science. beautiful stuff, man. I really want to know more about like computer science, research. but definitely space stuff. If I can learn more about that, man, that would be beautiful. That was beautiful. Right on, let's go, man. So, all right, man, as expected, that was just freaking so beautiful, man. It was so awesome. And I love the fact that it's like, it seems like it's like fast paced, but like in a way that it, I'm, it's still understandable, you know? Like, it's not just like, okay, here's this move on to the next. Like they still, they take the time to address everything, but there was so much to address, but they still managed to address every single thing, you know? Like it, it, they had the, they had the topics or whatever, like the one, two and three bullet points, you know? And they're like, they're gonna address everything that they wanted to, you know? And it's, I love that. I love that so freaking much. And like I keep saying in every single one of their videos, it's bite-sized pieces that you could understand, you know? And it's just, it's so fascinating stuff man just like space in general and just what out what the heck is out there you know and then like the question to colonize mars like a lot of big words here uh the, the question to coloni colonize mars oh my god is the it's just so freaking crazy and if you have a giant laser then there you go you know it's just but i had no idea that like there was actual like oxygen inside the rocks and stuff like it, that's just fascinating stuff and like for me to like yeah i'm not dumb but i'm not smart either i'm like in, in the middle of the mo road you know so like for me to like watch one of these videos and like some knowledge like comes out of it and i soak it up like that's just freaking beautiful i love that and that's literally what these videos are for and i just I just praise Kurtz to get like so much for that. Just the fact that they do that for everybody. It's just nothing short of awesome. Like how they could just have science available for everybody. And it's just, again, I love it. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member. You get videos a day early and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days.